What's going on everybody? I'm going to do this in just a one day video. Um, it was a bigger mail day just for the fact that I'll beat the Midwest Monster uh, by the time this actually comes out. And this was just a, one of those boxes that came in the mail and picked up a whole ton of stuff. All this stuff back here is just Jordan Tom Brady's mostly. There might be like 5 to 10 other cards into it for the 57 boxes. I'm not going to show that all to you because... Yeah, we'll be here forever. <laughs> so stuff that I'm looking at, because I had to go through this kind of more quickly and like postpone doing stuff today because of Com C being at the uh, Midwest Monster doing drop off. Let me move this out of my way just so I have a little bit more hand room. And we'll go like that. All right, this stuff here, they, I mean, they do like a buck. So I mean, a lot of this stuff will be just good. This one here is a little more expensive. I just know I wouldn't be able to move it around here. Jamar Gibbs, uh, Illusions, Elements, Rookie out of 50. They do, I want to say it was 56 was the last sale on it. So we'll push it to Com C. Same with Hubbard, another $20 card. Thought this would do a lot more. They do like a buck. Dalton Patch, Price Auto, never even heard of them. Jamar Chase, I mean, I'll probably get a buck on Com C onto it. Evans, a number Goff. Some Tom Brady's to do like a buck on there. Um, just a bunch of other stuff. Just flipping through here. Scoot Henderson, probably five to seven dollars it's worth. Uh, no idea. It's just numbered out of seventy-five. Cool looking hood, as in Jalen Hood. Um, I think it's Shafino or something like that. A LeBron, some hockey. Jack Hughes rookie. It is OC. Otherwise, I would have probably looked at grading it. Autos are nothing big. There's a sod in here. It's worth a couple dollars. Auto when I get to it. There it is. Sod. Some young guns. Like I said, nothing super crazy except for the Gibbs will be going there. But mostly been just sending a lot of this kind of lower stuff to Com C because it beats trying to sell it onto eBay versus, um, I guess you say, putting a whole lot of work in. All right, so the better stuff, well, minus Gibbs, <laughs> is right here. Stuff will go up with me, the Midwest Monster. Immaculate Chase and Justin Jefferson out of 49. Cool double patch. I think he's been doing 66, if I remember right. I know somebody's going to be like, oh, my gosh, you bought a Kenny Pickett. I know, but they're doing 80 bucks, the PSA 10. If Hurts gets hurt, <laughs> no pun intended. Stuff may sell. Le'Veon Bell, uh, just authenticated. It's a Bowman Sterling. They do like 30 bucks raw, so pretty much what that is, other than being encapsulated. This pick it does around 30. Uh, it's the no huddle out of 35. Cool Andrew Luck Auto. This is out of Press Pass. They do like 15 bucks, 20 max. Jamal Charles. Rookie Auto. This surprised me. It was blue. Numbered out of 99, I believe. Pretty sure it was out of 99. They only do... No, out of 35. They only do 20 bucks. Jamal Charles. This dude was a beast. Uh, now I lost my focus. But anyhow, there it is. It's because of the uh, shine. This dude was a beast, man. $20 for Jamal Charles. Uh, this is just a sample card. It was just in the deal. It's like a $5 card. One of the bigger ones, Jama or LaDamian Tomlinson Sage Rookie Auto out of $9.99. They do around $60 from what I would see um, with something like this to be in the safe zone. This last sale did like $27 on a uh, Luke Kuchley Auto. Again, it's just authenticated, but it's been it's a top or upper deck actual auto. Same with Hopkins. Another one, man. I thought this would be like a $40, $50 card. DeAndre Hopkins, three, it's for momentum. Three jersey action, rookie auto. They do, out of 25, did $43. This ain't serial number, so it's like a $20 card. Couldn't believe it. Man, this dude's really falling too. Todd Gurley, 9510 blue. This should be out of 99. Um, do like 40, 40 ish. Philip Rivers Auto from 06 Fleer Hot Prospects. Again, just authenticated. It, it was already good to go. He just had a stuff slab. 
Only thing I could find out of 25 did 50 bucks. That's probably maybe half of that. I'm guessing. Kind of surprising. And then finally, this is really surprising in the price range. Uh, Matt Ryan, PSA 10, did 40 bucks. So just a lot more, I, I could say, of like low end moving stuff. It'll be like to fill the showcases out of stuff, sales up there. But a lot of good stuff. I mean, like I said, you got to find the right people for the right buyers and all that stuff. I don't want to lose this sticky. That's a uh, girl's number from BCW to her direct line. Had some issues uh, trying to get something shipped out and finally got in touch with somebody ever since uh, Nancy retired last July. <laughs> Lucky I dug through emails and found this girl's contact. Otherwise, I'd probably have been up a creek without a paddle. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I figured I'd do this as a smaller type video. I know it's probably going on, ooh, I don't even know where we're at, probably close to six minutes right now. But um, at least wanted to show this because I don't think I'm going to be able to combine it to the weekly vlog type deal. But just want to give you guys an idea of like the time and effort you got to do going into this. I probably put, it's 3.12 my time now. I'm going to guess about two hours into this, just sorting through, pricing it all, getting with the individual, and then coming up with a price just onto this. The other stuff he just trusts me on whenever I go through it and stuff like that. But a lot of stuff, like I said, will be on the 50 cent boxes, all this top loader stuff. But all right, guys, that is it. Hopefully, maybe I'll catch some of you guys at the old Midwest Monster. Stop by, say hello. There'll be three of us at the table. Or tables, I should say. Um, and hopefully some good stuff. We find some good stuff out there walking up to the tables. I'm sure a lot of stuff will be 3X like normal. But other than that, guys, take care. Appreciate you watching. Back to the regular vlog stuff. Um, end of next week. Because I'll have to roll next week's vlog all together. Alright, guys. I'm out.